Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. And today we are going to have a look in on my red wiggler only bins. Now these are three nearly identical bins with the same volume, same amount of worms, same type of beddings, but they are at three different stages in their development. So we're going to go one by one and have a look at them. I'll put the particulars at the bottom of the video as I am going through the bins to show you how long it takes about two pounds of red wigglers to deal with the food scraps that I give them on a monthly basis. So this is the first check back since I've been on vacation, so they have not been looked in on in about one month. All right, let me get you up on the stand and we will start taking a look at the bins. All right, we are going to start by taking a look at red wiggler bin number three. I'll put the specs below as to how long this has been going, but if I'm not mistaken, this is the one that uh, is about halfway done. So we'll take like this uh, little bit of dried paper off the top. I have been leaving the lids kind of like cocked sideways on them because I've been having about 70% moisture in the basement and it's 78 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll make the conversions for um, Celsius for you, but let's take a look at this. I mean, look at these castings. Um, it, it's kind of like almost like having a surprise birthday present when you've been gone for a month and you haven't looked in on them to see what they can accomplish if I'm not peeking at them all the time. Um, so it is a little bit of a surprise for me as well as for you. Uh, so let's start digging in on the most finished side and Wow, does this look finished. Look at that. Amazing. And crumbly, and it's just a really great consistency here. That is great. I'm going to kind of pick off the, the big chunks of uh, shells and whatnot as I find them. It's just easier to keep them together, and when things start to migrate, then at the very least I know I'm not going to have to sift a bunch if I uh, if I do so moving those over uh, I'll put a picture below as to what they got to eat last time but two pounds of red wigglers can go through quite a few quite a lot of food in a month so my expectations are pretty low that I am going to find anything except for the hardest bits of pumpkin shell seeds or or the like they are pretty voracious feeders when it's nice and warm outside or inside as the case may be for their particular lifestyle. Almost all of my bins are inside in my basement, which is really a cellar. It, uh, the only thing I have the ability to do down here is worm farming because it is a dirt floor cellar in a 200 year old house. So it's really all it's good for. If I was to try and you know put anything in here other than worms, uh, things would mold. You know, I think when I first bought the house, I, I tried to store boxes of old stuff in here and, and everything just got moldy. So when I got into worm farming, I was like, this is perfect. Worms love mold. In fact, they eat it. So let's kind of skim off this top part here and see what's on this part. And it looks about the same to me, except for you can see little seeds from the melon. I'll bet they had melon. What do you think? So I'm still seeing seeds from the melon and so we'll kind of gather up the melon rind but here's a little ball of worms that were probably right there with that melon but it looks like I'm going to be able to take this out and um, actually start a migration on this so I'm kind of surprised that these guys are ready for migration so soon. All right, well, we'll just kind of put the big chunks over in the corner and then I'm going to have to go get them some bedding. I was not prepared for this. That's what I get. Always be prepared, Anne. All right, let me go get them some bedding. All right, we're back. So let's start with some of the bedding. Now, although this didn't really have the normal amount of time that I normally give it to rest and start degrading. I think the worms are going to be 
on it anyway. I did put some uh, kelp meal in there, so hopefully that will entice them to come. Now, uh, I think I mentioned in another video that uh, the, the godmother of the worm, Cece, has moved and she uh, cleaned out her cabinets for us. So what the worms are getting is old granola, pasta, and uh, I don't know, maybe some nuts. So we'll see how that's going to work. I've never fed uh, like granola items like, you know, dried fruit and nuts and stuff before. So we'll see. I think the red wigglers are, are good worms and they'll figure it out, pretty sure. All right, so the migration has begun. Kind of meet that up a little bit, make that a little taller so this can dry out and be a, a, doubly, uh, a double sort of incentive for them to get out and migrate. All right, let me go get the next bin. All right, and here we are with Red Wiggler bin number two. Not sure what's going on with this. I did have the lid like halfway off, like I mentioned before. So whatever this is, it's uh, definitely gotten too dry. So let's kind of scrape that up. I'm pretty sure this is where I fed because I can see a little bit of a um, melon rind there. But let's see what's going on over here. Um, seems like we're in that same sort of situation where everything is super done and almost like the consistency of peanut butter. And this is usually what I talk to talk about when I say too done. And basically, uh, the worms have reworked it so many times that it takes on a very, very sticky consistency, which might be why this part here you know, solidified into kind of a, a rock. But with me being out of town, I wasn't coming in here fluffing like I normally do when I'm trying to dry out a bin. So let's just slowly eat away at this part here and see when we come to the, uh, the new feeding side. All right, kind of scraping off these really pretty castings on the top here and putting them over on the done side. I'm not sure. I know I started the migration on one of them, but I have to wonder if I was gone for so long, accidentally, mind you, not on purpose, uh, that they already pretty much ate all of the stuff I was migrating them to. And I think that's what's happened here. So we'll gather up everything and <laughs> migration fail. Well, I guess it's not really a fail. It does seem like there's a good amount of worms here, but as far as having the bedding to have everybody move on into the good bedding and then have them leave has not actually occurred because it was too too long of a wait. Yeah, that's what's happened. These uh, what was brand new bedding is is now uh, finished. Which just, you know, when I talk about how it's, you know, almost 80 degrees Fahrenheit in the basement here, the red wigglers really do go absolutely crazy and um, finish very, very quickly. So I'm going to start the migration again. I'm not going anywhere for a good long time again um, for multiple reasons. Uh, definitely... Uh, Definitely had an ordeal there. So we're gonna put down the food or put down the bedding there. I'm gonna put down the old old food that didn't get, you know, completely finished. And then we're gonna give them some of that granola mix and some pasta. Hopefully that's something that they will find enticing and they can start their migration all over again. Sorry, guys. But just goes to show you how resilient worms are. You know, even if we're not at our best, they will absolutely figure it out. So it, it's kind of one of those things. You don't have to worry about them quite as much as you might think because, you know, in the wild, they take care of themselves just fine without us. Um, and as a worm mom, we do kind of, you know, or dad, we do fuss over them 
maybe more than is completely necessary. All right, so here we go. Migration, take two. All right, let me go get the other bin. Okay, this is Red Wiggler bin number one. And uh, I don't remember what we were trying to do here, but it certainly looks like it's very wet, and there's not a whole lot left of the food. So kind of turn things over here, and we'll just collect up everything. Seems like there's a lot more food here than there is in the other bins. Kind of, this is super wet, super, super wet. Look at these castings. Aren't they beautiful? Look at that. Good worms. Yeah, you can see the, the seeds of the, the melon were over here, so... I'm surprised they didn't sprout, honestly, considering how wet and warm it is down here. I'm surprised that they didn't, uh, didn't germinate. Well... I know this bin is mostly about seeing things in different stages, but I think I think we're going to have to start migrating here. Um, there's more food left here than there is in the other one, so it's definitely less finished, but I'm going to say that, uh, yeah, I'm going to start the migration anyway. Some people I know put off their migrations for what some people would think would be too long. I probably start my migrations before they should, but uh, this is super sticky and I would like these worms to get out of this super sticky uh, environment. So let me get them some bedding. And then some of the fruit and pasta. Is that like a pasta fruit salad, do you think, maybe? Okay. Nope, no, nope, 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 nope. Get over there. None of that. Gotta keep them separated. Alright, and now let's top it off with some more bedding. It's one of the things about the summertime where I live. You really have to keep an eye on things or otherwise they get ahead of you. And this has certainly got ahead of me. But we will be checking on these a lot more, you know, soon next time. So the worms will, you know, have an opportunity to dry out and maybe we'll find more chunks of food like this peach pit and that we can put back over here. All right, if you like this series of the Red Wigglers, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing, ring the bell icon. P.S. There's an entire playlist for this, which I will link over there. And before the vacation, I will link that video over there so you can see how crazy amount of uh, work they did while I was gone. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.